Hey guys, what's up? I'm Greg, he's Q, and he's Little H. Together we're Mr. Happy 0121. Today, we're eating the Moonlight Moonshine Burger from Hardee's. Here's an interesting story. I have not looked at this burger. You don't know this, so I'm gonna tell you now. Okay. We pulled up, Megan and I, into this Hardee's parking lot at like 8.15 at night, and there was no one parked there. Megan was like, are they open? I said, yeah, they're open. There's two employees out here leaning on a wall. Looks like they're smoking cigarettes. I said, watch when we go up to the drive-thru. They're going to run in. And sure enough, they did. And then the guy came all over the intercom or over the little box like this. Welcome to Hardee's. How can I help you? He only had to take like six steps in the door, man. I think it's time to give up the cigarettes. I think so. So I'm a little dubious as to uh, what, what kind of burger we're going to get here. Megan told me the guy at the window tonight looked like a rough customer. They look like defecators? Well, I don't know about that, but she her phrasing was a rough customer. And, you know, I felt that we were in, they thought we were in a worse neighborhood because these two guys were really rough looking. And then I handed him the $10 through the window and he would only open the window like this uh -huh. wide. And then he took the $10 and didn't put it in the register. He put it directly in the safe underneath, like, the front counter, which was really weird. That is weird. I, I was thinking, man, you guys must not be very familiar because, trust me, we're not in the ghetto. It's You're safe. You're very safe here. But they put the $10 right in the safe. So that's a long, wound-up way of saying I'm really scared to see what we're about to find out when we open this up for the close-up. I'm really scared of this. It'll probably be beautiful. Well, it is thick. It's a big burger. It's massive. Lettuce is green. That's a good start. Gigantic patty. I don't know, man. That cheese is a little lacking, but compared to Burger King. And look, they actually put the crumbles on it. A burger this big calls for bringing out the big knife. That old wrinkly bung piece, Larry, <laughs> can't take everything from us. Is he dead yet? Not yet, but soon. You know, people just on a daily are always like, Larry did this, Larry did that. Honestly, I don't give a flying fuck what Larry does. You guys, if you feel compelled to tell me, it's fine. But unless Larry dies a horrible death on camera or castrates himself on camera or just something where they're... There was god awful pain inflicted on Larry. I don't even care about Larry. Okay. Just saving you guys time to leave me the comment. Larry said this about you guys. Don't care. For the full breakdown of everything on this burger, we're going to put it in the description below. You guys got a pretty good look at it. We left everything intact except the tomato. Don't even want to hear it. Thank God. Liam is gone, so I don't have to hear it. Goodbye, Liam. You know, once something's funny, twice something's not funny, then you roll three, three times it's funny. But then after you make the same joke about 400 times, you're just an obnoxious asshole. You're not funny anymore. So, goodbye, Liam, you obnoxious asshole. Hey, it's been a while since we said anything about somebody else in the food review community. There you go. It has. We've added a new victim. Let me just say this. Two dudes hanging outside an empty building, smoking cigarettes, made a better looking burger than the Burger King people on the release day of the Angry Whopper when their parking lot was empty and it literally took them like 10 to 12 minutes well, to make two burgers. They were all stimulated by nicotine, so of course they you know, could muster up enough focus to make this thing look nice and pretty. Maybe. Maybe. I, I prefer to call it... Uh, Pride in what you do. That's what I prefer to call it. All right. Uh, when we got that Burger King Angriest Whopper and I opened it up and it looked like somebody had sneezed like three jalapenos in one clump on one side, the person making that burger knew what they were doing. They saw it when they made it. That's no pride in workmanship. Every time we deal with Burger King, like 99.9% .9 of the time, it's thrown together garbage. The people that work there have no pride. And I understand you're like, well, man, it's minimum wage. They're working whatever, whatever. No matter what you do in life, 
If you're going to do something and accept money for it, put out an effort. Have a pride in workmanship. 99 out of 100 times that we go to Hardee's, regardless of time of day or what's going on, pride in workmanship. Pride in workmanship. He's making a joke out of this, but I'm being serious. As a consumer, that's something. Because I'm, I'm putting all this out there right now because this burger looks pretty good. And I'm going to give it a grade that doesn't indicate it's very good. Um, it's not the burger's fault. It's not the guy that made it's fault. I don't like this sauce. Now, one more bite. Here's the grade. And I'll go through the good. Uh, Hardy's had some of the great hamburger patties out there. Especially when you go all in and get the half pound. The crumblies were good. The bun, fresh baked, tastes awesome. The the bacon today was good. Everything about the burger I can't I can't blame except the sauce. It's not hot. It has a chemical taste. It does. It tastes like chemical on a bun. <laughs> it's got kind of a vaguely sweet, kind of vaguely hot. It tastes like somebody made this burger and then just before they uh, served it up to us. They sprayed it down with Lysol. Probably like a nice pine Lysol. So all things considered, I give this burger 78. Purely on the taste of the moonshine, midnight moonshine sauce. Not a fan. Yeah, um, I feel the exact same way. I didn't, I didn't like the uh, meat either. Just it tasted all weird. And for some reason, like the last bite I took was really like peppery. I'll give this thing like a 70. It's just, it's just not that great. If I took that sauce off, so you and I disagree, I think that the sauce is what leads to everything else tasting weird. And we've had enough of their burgers to know. Like, Hardee's on their own with what they have here without that sauce, that's like a 93, 94 burger. It's a good burger. We've had some really great ones. I feel like this wasn't a really great one. This was not a really great one. Uh, this, the parts were better than the sum total. So yeah, there, there goes back to my thing about workmanship that you thought was so funny. I don't find fault with the guy that made this burger. A lot of times, like with Burger King, it's the fault of the person making the burger. You just got all real for a second. I didn't expect that. Like you went into like this big, like almost passionate type of. A, well, you know, it gets yeah. frustrating. As much money and time as we spend with this, that places don't have a quality control. Like they don't have a mystery shopper go through once a week. If I owned one of these places, I would randomly send someone through and then have them bring it to my house. Yeah, like McDonald's, a couple times you'll get a gnarly looking burger. Just think of as much money as like, yeah, McDonald's too. Yeah. They would make so much more from so many more people in our area if so many people hadn't just sworn them off. Like, how do you own that place? Because I believe the ones in our area, all of them are franchises. How are you that unaware of what's going on in your own franchise or do you just not care? You just don't care. You just look at the numbers and money, money, money. But I got to believe... If you're looking at money, 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 you want the best product out there so you can make more money, money, money. Yeah, I guess. That's just my thoughts. That's my thoughts from my head. Time for some Facebook shout-outs. We'll quit talking about working hard and doing things right and get back to being slackers. Facebook shout-outs. Facebook now over 346 likes. Danny Santiago. What's up, Danny? What's up? Danny Santiago. I'm surprised I did not mess that up. I'm surprised he did not mess that up, too. It's a win-win for all of us, Danny. Now, now on to Nick Garrett. Nick Garrett. Another Nick. Now, the last guy was Nicholas, but Nick Garrett sounds like another guy that would either, like, punch you in the face or sing you a rock song. <laughs> or maybe sing you a rock song while punching you in the face. Wow. Nick Garrett. Nick Garrett. Sounds like a combination between, like, a tough guy and a 70s pop balladeer like Leaf Garrett. Whoever that is. I saw it on TV. I'm not really that old, kids. But if you guys want to see what passed for a 70s heartthrob back in the day, Google Leif Garrett, L-E-I-F-G-A-R-R-E-T-T. -T. He had a white fro. He was a white guy with a fro. His hair wasn't white. But yeah, if you want to see what a 70s heartthrob looked like, go, go expand your mind. And then when your parents try to tell you something, just point to Leif Garrett. They didn't know what was going on. At this point, if your parents were born in the 70s, you're probably pretty old. I don't know. If your grandparents know who Leif Garrett is, there you go. There we go. The times are a-changing. 
As you watch this, we're in Dallas. We hope that you're doing well. I hope that we're still alive. It would be very eerie if it wasn't if we weren't because you know these will auto load. It would be eerie. It'd be really yeah, it'd be really eerie. It's like that thing like when you hear a podcast at, whenever somebody dies now, podcasters will go back through their archives and find the interview with the guy. Oh. And invariably every time you hear one of these podcasts, the person that is dead now is talking about when they die. Oh yeah, there's an interview that Jim Morrison did where he talks about like dying or whatever. Yeah, it's just creepy. Yeah, so, it's kind of creepy. This is going to be our our podcast memorial if we don't make it. You got any wise words in case we? No. 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 Um. Yeah. I don't know. We did a bonus review of this on the Mister Darko One Two One channel. If you guys want to check it out, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find us on all social media. Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I'm getting to be like a machine with this. A social media machine. Just search for Mr. Happy 0121 on each of those. Until next time, stay vigilant.